No competition for the World Championships a week from Tuesday. It begins becoming one of the biggest stories in figure skating. Irvin burst onto the world scene last January when she turned in a surprisingly strong second place finish at the U.S. Nationals. The high school sophomore who attends school outside Cleveland drew even more attention when she was the only skater at the Nationals to complete the long program without falling. And Irvin has an Olympic connection. Her coach, Carol Heiss Jenkins, was the 1960 Olympic gold medalist. She wanted to train with Heiss Jenkins so badly that she left her home in Charleston, West Virginia as a youngster and moved to Cleveland. Under the auspices of her legendary coach, Irvin has made her presence felt in the figure skating world. And as she gets ready for the preliminaries on Monday, we asked Lisa how she feels about competing in her first world championship. Um, I'm just really excited to be here. Um, I, I'm 15 and I never expect to be on a world team this soon and I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> well, like you said, you are really young. You're only 15. You have a lot of other opportunities ahead of you should you not skate well, heaven forbid, uh, next <laughs> week. Does that take some of the pressure off the fact that you are so young, Lisa? Yes, it does. Um, you always want to go after everything you can get because uh, you may never have that chance, but it, it is nice to have the age to fall back on. Now, your family has made a lot of sacrifices for your skating career. I know that you moved away from home at age eight. You live with your mom now in Cleveland, but your dad, because of his job, has to live about four hours away in Buffalo. That's a lot yeah. of family sacrifice. Does that, does that enter into your mind as you're going through your competition and, and your skating career? Um, well, no, not really, because my parents are so supportive, and, you know, they made the decision, um, along with myself, I really wanted to be with Carol, and, you know, my dad, my mom said, look, um, you know, Carol says she's very talented, and I think she might have a future, so whatever we can do to help her, you know, we're, we're, we're going to, and it's paid off so far. You've mentioned that not only your coach, the 1960 Olympic gold medalist, Carol Heiss Jenkins, is an idol of yours, but also Mary Lou Retton. Why Mary Lou? Yes. Um, well, because it came down to, um, you know, a vault. And it was either she made it or she didn't. And it was either Olympic champion or she was an Olympic champion. And um, I give her a lot of credit because in a pressure situation, she pulled it through and gave us that 10 in the Olympic gold medal. You moved away from home at age eight to join a Carol as your coach in Cleveland, and you've said at times that you're 15 going on 25. Does the independence, yeah. <laughs> does the independence that you were forced to develop as a part of your skating career, does that help you in competition? Yes, it does, and in um, real life because um, I am more independent and uh, have more a lot more responsibility than some of my peers in school. And I think um, not only does it help you in skating um, with the nerves, it also helps you um, after skating's over to be responsible. Well, certainly the 1994 Olympics in Lillehammer, as you stated, uh, that is one of your goals. Professionals are also eligible to make the Olympic team, which really opens the door for some older skaters to come back in and perhaps take spots from younger skaters, such as yourself. What's your reaction to that ruling about professionals being eligible for the Olympics? Um, well, they, they've now ruled for the professionals, and, you know, hey, um, the professionals are in, and now if they're skating, you're just going to have to skate and beat them. That, you know, that's, that's my feeling. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. The rule's already in effect, and once they're back, you know, we'll just have to go out there and skate with them and beat them like everyone else. Lisa, how much potential do you have? You're being touted as the next superstar in figure <laughs> skating. Um, you know, uh, as my personal potential, um, I've been claimed as a perfectionist. Um, I, I never, I never want to make a mistake. Um, so I, I think my personal potential is is very high in myself because I am very hardworking and determined to 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 not make a mistake. So I think in in future years you'll see a lot from me. Mm, great personality and certainly very self-possessed for all of her 15 years. Irvin and Olympic star Nancy Kerrigan are among those that we will see on NBC next weekend as Reebok presents the World Figure Skating Championships. Our